Hey guys, uh, Epic Jake here, uh, or whatever you want to freaking call me, like Jake, LampTube, or LTX, you know, I, I don't know, but, so, this is like, a bit of a different video, so I discovered this really, really strange glitch in NSMB Wii, uh, I don't know if it's emulator specific or not, and I'm sorry if like, my commentary isn't the best, because this video is unscripted, so it's gonna be a lot of flukes, like, here and there, so, the first thing you need to do is to get Yoshi, and then, you have to go to this specific area in the level where there's a little pipe before a star coin, wait, we can't lose Yoshi, we need Yoshi. So I'm just gonna go to this part of the level and right here. So notice how there's a piranha plant to my left. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to eat it and then immediately go into the pipe and we'll see what happens. So, so, so as you can clearly see, this obviously isn't the right level. This is... 8-2, I think? Like, I'm not sure, but... I think it's 8-2, I'm pretty confident in that, but... What's even weirder is what happens if we leave and come back. So, as you can see, it... It kicked us out of 1-3, as if that was just... Still 1-3, which I find pretty funny, but... The interesting part is if we try to go to 1-3 again. Okay, so now we're in Mario Kart Wii. The next thing we have to do is get Lakitu to grab us. So, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I don't care about winning, Yoshi can pass me all he wants. Uh... Alright. Okay, let's fall off here. Now that Lakitu has incorrectly placed us in Baldi's schoolhouse, we can now get the first notebook and proceed to the next part of the glitch. So contrary to popular belief, Baldi's Basics Classic does actually have an anti-piracy screen. And what we're gonna do is force it to come up, even though this likely isn't pirated? I mean, I I'm not even sure which game is booted up right now at this point, but I don't think it's pirated. But there is a way to trigger it nonetheless, even in the Classic Edition, which this is. So, the game has about a one second window for me to do this. I have to enter the Konami code, so let me see if I can get it first try. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, there we go. So, you may not see it, but there is a very tiny red pixel in the top right. That means that we've triggered it correctly. So, now we have to run away from Baldi first off and go into the school faculty room over here. The tape has now been replaced with the Kickstarter demo. And now, we have to give the demo to the bully. Or, we can do this. Yeah, this is probably gonna take a while, so I'm probably gonna cut this out in post. Once you find the bully, it's important that you only have the demo in your inventory, so he's forced to take it. So, I'm gonna give it to him, we'll see what happens. Okay, so now we've triggered the anti-piracy screen, now what? Well, in this version, it's as easy as just pressing the pause button to get it out of the way. Of course, once you do that, you're gonna realize that several things are wrong, and he is very angry at you. And the game over screen has been replaced with a chocolate bar. Now that we're fighting Doc Lewis, the first thing we need to do is beat him, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. And after that, we're gonna have to lose to him. I'm not sure why, but that's what we have to do, so... Alright. 
Block this. That was nice. Block this. All right, so we've beat him. Pretty easy, honestly. All right. Now we're gonna go to training, and we're gonna let him. We're gonna let him punch us. All right, so the game has now crashed. What's weird about this crash, however, is that we can still access the home menu and reset the game. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're in the home menu, and we're going to reset. So the game's going to boot up like normal. And we're back, so... Alright, so we're going to start a new game. And we're going to find all the secrets in E1M1. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Second one. Alright, there should be one more. I gotta be quick for this one. And that's the last one. And there we go. Alright, now that that's done, we have to defeat Bowser. So, once we defeat Bowser, we'll be able to move on to the final part of the glitch. Jeez, this glitch is so, like, Weird and strange though, like how did they not find this in testing? That's what I want to know. Alright, but whatever. I, I should probably focus because this game is really hard to play with just a keyboard. Like all of this is still emulated after all, so I have to use a keyboard. So, after all that, we're finally let back to the world map, but we're not done yet. For this next part, we actually need to plug in a classic controller. Since this is emulated, I'm just going to go into the menu to do that. Now, it does say the extension is not supported. However, while it is plugged in, we have to hold down literally all the buttons at once. So, uh... Yeah, I'm holding down all the buttons, and we have to hold them down for a good five seconds. Okay, this should be good. We can let go. Unplug the classic controller. And now, we have to go to Peach's Castle. And if all of that was done correctly, we should see this. So, as you can see, it says, fuck you. Um, I don't know why Nintendo would put this in the game. Uh, I don't even know if it's on purpose or not. I don't know if it was like an inside joke or if it's like a genuine glitch or what, but I'm surprised that they didn't catch this during QA testing. So, yeah, it says, fuck you.